What is going on guys? So I want to show you guys my morning routine. I haven't done this in a while, so just going to show you guys all the supplements that I use and kind of what I do every morning. So the first thing you just saw is I weigh myself. Now, without the camera in my hand, I was like 202.4 or 202.6. Or when I started this cut, I was 207 right after vacation, so there's some bloating and stuff. But yeah, I'm feeling really damn good, so I'm happy with that. But we are going to show you guys what supplements we're doing every single morning. So some of this is for acne, some of this is for health some of this is for both so salt palmetto we have dim estrogen control we have rise and Toulouse you're not getting a treat you already ate so we have the dim which is estrogen control we have rise this is a nootropic blend that I take every day from cured nutrition you guys can actually go to the link down below to check that one out this is maca phenomenal actually for sex drive there's actually a lot of health benefits of maca basically healthy energy stamina levels things of that nature we have liver HD, phenomenal product. It's pretty self-explanatory, really good for liver regeneration, liver health. We have Omegas right here by Clove Hill. Now this product is great, it's two grams per two pills. So I take four of these, four grams a day. Now this has actually been studied in um, patients with heart disease to actually be of huge benefit. I saw this on Leo Longevity's channel. I already take fish oil, but yeah, this is amazing for the heart. Fish oil is one of the best things you can do. A really quality omega-3, four to six grams a day. I take this, which is basically just a hydration product for your skin, your hair, things of that nature, because Colorado is so fucking dry. And then we have Coquinol uh, 100, which is basically Ubiquinol. And I use this for my heart, heart health basically, I guess you could say, and just overall health purposes so yeah that's what I do and then I'll typically brew up a coffee which is what I'm about to do and then while I'm doing that I kind of start to make my breakfast so I'll show you guys what I put in my coffee and stuff of that nature as well so this is the coffee that I use in my Keurig and it's a super mushroom coffee it has reishi mayataki shiitake lion's made cordyceps turkey tail chaga oyster with ashwagandha now that is a blend guys okay of 12 grams very solid so this is what i do grab one of these throw the one out from yesterday the seven i had yesterday press coffee press strong 12 ounces oh all right so the two things that i use with my coffee or are just a little tad of this almond milk it's pretty solid ingredients it has nothing in it but almond water and it has it's almond milk water almonds sea salt and the natural flavors the natural flavor is not the best but it is what it is the best one i could find when i was out and then also i use monk fruit sweetener which is much better than a lot of other zero calorie sweeteners so this is fire you guys should try this out i'm just going to do two spoonfuls of that like one and a half to two don't overdo it and just attack of this maybe like less than one fourth of a cup so for breakfast trying this new thing out i'm not doing any carbs um only for breakfast and i'm actually increasing my fats for my uh, overall caloric intake for the day i'm increasing the fat content lowering the carbs to see how i like it but this is what i'm doing for my first meal of the day 2850 calories is what i'm gonna be eating today i have half an avocado two eggs eight slices of turkey bacon, and then three cups of like mixed spinach right there. So we are gonna enjoy this meal right here. I'll catch up with you guys right after. So once I'm done breakfast, I have like a cup of coffee in me. Then what I'll typically do is I'm sitting right here for about three to five hours every single day unless I go to a coffee shop and I'm actually just getting a bunch of work done for my clients and some other projects I have going on. I just, I'm banging out work. Mostly it's client work. If you guys are interested in that, DM me on Instagram. But anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next few hours. We do have some cool stuff planned later which I'm gonna pick the camera back up for, but this is just the truth, this is what I do, guys. I mean, I'm very busy, I have my coaching business just honestly booming and it's amazing, I get to work with so many people, so that's kinda of how it goes, get up like 7.30, get my shit done, eat, get to work, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll actually pick the camera back up when the day gets fun for you guys to watch. All right, so I'm about to head down to the park and then I'm gonna also head to Sweet Green to get some food, but before that, I'm packing my stuff for the gym. Obviously, we got the Gymshark dad hat on, but I am going to show you guys what I'm, I pack for my post-workout kind of nutrition. Right after the gym, I just do 50 grams collagen protein, and then also, if you guys wanna pick this up, link down below, I use one or two scoops of Carb HD right here. Phenomenal product for right after the gym. So I just throw this in the shaker, throw it right in the bag. That's gonna be like my meal three today. Basically, meal two is gonna be sweet green. This will be like quote unquote meal three, and then I'll have like two other probably like solid meals or one other like big meal something along those lines but i am very excited to go outside because how nice it is right now guys it's like freaking 75 degrees on april 2nd look at this 
this is the park that I'm about to go to, go chill at, but cannot beat this view, man. Some of you guys have been watching me since my mom's basement days. This view beats the view in my backyard in my mom's basement, I'll tell you that much. I'm honestly really, really excited to show you guys this new gym that I'm gonna go head to today. Why do I suck at YouTube now? Wait, you suck at YouTube? Yeah. Damn. That's because you came in my life. That's true. I bring the fucking views down. Cause I'm not fucking Dave Blade. Jesus. <laughs> it is true. Where's Dave at? How come if I fucking put Dave in a thumbnail, you guys fucking like the video, you guys comment on the video, you watch the video. If Dave's not in the video, no one fucking wait, wait, wait. cares. Tell him about that dude who looks like Dave Blade at the gym. Yeah, there's a dude who looks like Dave Blade at the gym. <laughs> I could just replace Dave with that dude, and maybe <laughs> you guys will like that. I'll still get the same views. I'm not sure. The video we did together got like 60K views. Good for me. So maybe I have to put you in the thumbnail today. I can't hold him. Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to talk to you guys about this because I titled the video what I'm using for my con or not my contest prep, what I'm using for my cut, what PEDs, whatever I said in the fucking title. So I did want to go over that. Now it's very simple. It's pretty fucking boring. What I'm using for my cut and just pretty much what I've been using and what I plan to use kind of like in the future is I do two units of HGH five days a week. So Monday through Friday. And then also four days a week, I do 50 megs of testosterone enthanate. I don't have any any anti-estrogens in, no Remedex or, you know, Aromacin, any of that stuff, or Letrozole, of course, I have none of that. So yeah, no anti-estrogen, 50 megs test every other day, two units of growth, five days a week. And yeah, that's what I'm doing to help me maintain muscle and maybe even like, you know, add some size kind of on this cut. Calories are at 2,850 right now. I dropped them a little bit. So yeah, we're probably about 10 pounds away from the goal weight. I'll probably be there in like eight weeks to 10 weeks or so. I'm trying to take it slow and then I'm just gonna kind of hold it, maintain it. I allow myself like a few cheats here and there. I don't like eat junk food anymore, but if I like wine or, you know, like a nice fatty steak here and there. So typically I'll fit it into my calories though. Like if I do drink, I'll just drop my carbs for the day and I'll kind of still stay on the same cows. But yeah, either way, we're getting down there on the cut. That's what I'm using for the cut. And let's go get some food, go to the park. All right, so I'm at the gym I was talking about. I did not go to sleep where I went to like this other place, kind of random as fuck. Didn't show you guys what I got, but really no big deal. This is kind of like the new gym. It's basically just a portrait of Kobe and my friend Stefano in the corner. <laughs> it's pretty dope. This is like a little posing room kind of thing in here. As you guys can see, it's really dope. This is the gym. So as you guys can see, it's not huge, but it's awesome. Like it has amazing lighting. It has everything you need to get an awesome workout. There's not like a lot of upper body uh, machines, but I feel like it makes up for it with the amount of free weights there are. So when I come here, I'll probably do more free weight stuff, especially for upper body. But right now we're gonna get into a bench workout hyped up on pre-workout we're gonna do four sets of 20 reps on bench i'm gonna try to do two plates and stefano is probably gonna do 25s on each side potentially <laughs> 95 if he's lucky
All right, fam, don't mind my hair. I just got off a 20 mile bike ride. It's the next day from the last clip. Before I actually get in what I'm gonna get into right now, two things. Number one, the workout that I did yesterday, there wasn't a lot of upper body machines, so it's pretty simple. Just did a lot of sets and a lot of reps. That's something I do recommend that you guys do, even if you do have a lot of machines here and there, just to do kind of a lot of sets on one movement and just kind of progressively, in my opinion, I progressively feel the weight more. I progressively get more out of the movement as I do more sets. Anyways, the other thing I wanted to say is I'm gonna start doing a lot more biking content because I do ride like 20, 30, miles like four or five times a week and it's just been like a really really big passion of mine this summer I want to try to do some really crazy long rides like 50 7500 miles stuff like that so we shall see about all that but I want to show you guys this Gymshark launch that I got right here if you don't know guys if you're living under a rock I'm sponsored by Gymshark now these shorts right here and then this shirt are my two favorites so I'm going to show you I'm going to unbox these and then show you guys what they are so you guys can pick these up if you want the link will be down in the description unfortunately nowhere in the package or anywhere does it say what either of these are called but you can see by like how they look so when you do go on the site you'll be able to see like what it is out of the other items these shorts are such a dope material they're a little longer than a lot of their short shorts which i like but they're not too long super dope like nice meshy material very plain just boom quick little gymshark logo this shirt you can't really tell that well from here it has an extremely dope like taper so from the top to the bottom so those of you with small waist big upper bodies this shirt is fire and this is like what the pattern kind of looks like it just goes some kind of like nothing to like a cool like little pattern almost like similar like the onyx kind of pattern but not onyx material lighter than that so if you guys are interested go grab it i'm gonna end this video right here today is the rockies game saturday i'm gonna go enjoy that i'm gonna go to the rockies game have some fun and yeah i hope you guys have a fucking awesome weekend or had an awesome weekend when you watch this video i'm getting back in the group of youtube i'm gonna start filming a lot more bring you guys in on shit again like i used to more frequently try to hold me to it shit on me if i lie hold me to it not promising any amount of videos just i'm gonna try to do it more frequently than i've been and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace